Now that I have you captured Nine Tails, it's time to tell you the truth. Shanks has one tapped kid in the recent One Piece chapter, and I know you're a big red hair Shanks fan, likely on account of your Uzumaki genes. You might ask why I have you restrained to give you this information. It's because unfortunately for you, Shanks defeated Kid with a flying slash. In other words, a sword technique. And like me and the rest of the Akatsuki have been telling you, this is simply more evidence that he is a swordsman. Which of course means he is Mihawk's inferior. Shanks is a hockey man! A hockey man? You mean a fighter who relies on hockey? Like everyone else in the New World? Well, it's different with Shanks. He's a hockey specialist. There is no such thing as a fucking hockey man. That is just a cope by people with agendas. But with my Rinnegan, I can see past agendas, and the only eye superior to a Rinnegan is a Hawkeye. Well, Shanks is Luffy's end goal. It makes no sense for him to be weaker than Zoro's end goal. That's basic narrative. No, Shanks is not Luffy's end goal. Luffy's goal is the Pirate King. Shanks is simply a stepping stone, a competitor. Both Zoro and Luffy will be stronger than Mihawk at the end of the series. So I don't know why you seem to think this is a good argument. Anything else? Do you think Shanks might pull out a hockey Susano? Maybe a hockey domain expansion? I have nothing to say to you. I doubt it. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, share, comment and subscribe and click the bell icon to get my new video updates. Also check out my other videos too.